Why, hello, and welcome to another episode of First Chances with Chance. And in today's episode, we're going to be discussing some stuff. What are we going to be discussing? I will figure it out. So... We will definitely figure it out. Because... My brain is everywhere today, so yeah. Taking the no kava bars. So ka, we're gonna be discussing kava bars today. So yeah, I know that was a while uh, that it took me to figure that out, but we're here now, and I've been to uh, I want to say three kava bars now. So all supporting friends pretty much is how it started, and a rid like the other two besides the main one. We went, we pretty much did um, my event there because I had an event that I was hosting. And then we also had, um, we at one point had trivia on, like my friend's trivia, not the new one. Um, so yeah, we are pretty much, I pretty much have been to three. The trivia, my friend's trivia was also at the other two locations. Oh, four. I've been to four Kava bars because Tamantu, Tamantu, Tamantu. Um, we went for also trivia, but it was Mario, uh, trivia. So because the new Mario movie was coming out. So yeah. Um, some kava bars sell, like this might be a short episode, I don't know, but some kava bars do sell vapes. I don't know about, I, I think one of them has the Delta 8, um, the Delta 8 pens as well or cartridges or even just regular Delta 8 vapes I mean I have mine that's been lasting me for over a month now yeah over a month so yeah because it was three grams I was like that's gonna last me quite a while I didn't read because usually like I was going through pens like boom 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 boom
I'm just tired. Um, then they also have the Kava and the Kratom that I've discussed uh, before on here. And they have Coke, all that. I want to say they have Sprite. I know that the one that I go to also has Red Bull, but we also now got a new mushroom elixir that is so good for energizing and it is very affordable. Then there's also another one that... Did she put Red Bull? That... What was I saying? I don't remember. They have the mushroom elixir, which is good for energizing. They have, like, so it's like a substitute for the Red Bull. Um, I don't know if they still sell the Red Bull. I'm sure that they do. Like, I don't know why they would have gotten rid of the Red Bull just because they brought in the mushroom elixir. It wouldn't make any sense because there's still people that would buy the Red Bull and not the mushroom elixir but that's just me whatever i don't care what you say um but yeah it is definitely a vibe to go there to any kava bar to be honest it is definitely a fun experience and i would say go at least once i know that tonight my friend is hosting a thing for cinco de mayo Yesterday we did a, um, a Super Smash Bros. tournament. Wednesdays are the new trivia. Tuesday, I don't know what Tuesdays are. What are Tuesdays? Let's see. Bingo night are Tuesdays with Gia. Um, Monday, I think, is poker. Sundays are the pool tournament. I'm pretty sure. Oh, I was like, what? A ad came up for um, Pandora bracelets. And I was like, wait, what? Um, Friday is ladies night. I know that. There's open mic nights on set on some Saturdays. Um, what was I doing on April twenty second? Oh, I had tutoring, so I didn't even go out to... Oh, no, there was supposed to be open mic night, I think, and nobody showed up, so Z uh, the host went home. Stupid. But I'm going to go ahead and take a break and be right back. So I'm back with more stuff about the kava bar so let's see um 
I don't even know if they still do the pool tournament. That honestly would be weird if they didn't. I know that Mondays are... April 3rd. That was a. F oh, no, that was March 3rd. Monday. Okay. But what about pool? I don't even know if they still do the pool tournament. Like, to be honest, I don't even know if they still do the pool tournament because they haven't even been posting about it. And, um, yeah, I don't know. They you and then the, every now and then they'll do, um, They'll do the open mic night. Like I said, they canceled my event, unfortunately. But nobody was really coming out. Um, now, let's see. Um, Tribal Kava Bar. I know that they host... They do a pool tournament. They do, op evidently, they've started doing open mic night, uh, WrestleMania. They did stuff for that. Um, Smash Bros. tournaments. And they do, I don't even know if they still do the. If they still do the, um, trivia, I don't know if my friend even still does the trivia at that bar. But yeah, they, I don't know if they even still do it, but I know that, um, they used to, let's see, they didn't even, they, like, they literally don't even post anything about it, so I don't even know if they still do it, I know that they, both locations do, Pool tournaments, Smash Bro uh, tournaments, and that's been pretty much it that they've been posting. Like they don't. I don't, I think that they might have canceled the, uh, their event. 
like I, I wasn't bringing enough people or something. I don't know. I know that when I went there to support them, they it didn't really bring a lot of people. And they were paying my friends $150. So, I mean, if you're not bringing in people, it is a new event at the at that place. So, at that point, it's like my event. It's not, it's going to start out slow. But let me see. Let me let, uh, read what Kaba is for you guys. And then my uh, well, a couple of my other buddies um, work. Well, one of them works at a Kaba bar in Wellington called Bulak. Kava Wellington, but yeah. And evidently, football players can't have Kava or Kratom. And I'm like, when Trey told me that, I was like, what in the world? Why? That's so freaking stupid. So, Kava is a beverage or extract made from the Piper Methysticum plant. It is a root and it's a popular drink that is used in ceremonies for relaxation. So that is pretty much what it's used for. People commonly use kava for anxiety. It's also used for stress. Withdrawal from drugs called benzodiazepines. Sleeping problems and many other purposes is but there is no good scientific evidence to support many of these uses. Cases of liver damage and even some deaths have been linked to kava use. Because of this, kava was taken off the market in Europe and Canada in the early 2000s. But after reviewing the evidence, most countries have allowed kava to return to the market. Kava was never taken off the market in the U.S. So that is a brief overview of what kava is, and let's see what kratom, kratom, kratom is a tropical evergreen tree in the coffee family native to Southeast Asia, it is ind indigenous to Thailand, Indonesia, Malaysia, Myanmar, and Papua New Guinea, where it, it has been used in herbal medicine since at least the 19th century. It has also historically been used for chewing, smoking, and tea. So we do tea at the bar. There's three different strains, red, green, and white. So white is supposed to be more of like an energizing euphoric um, thing. Red is supposed to evidently relax you, but green is the one that relaxes me. I don't know. Red doesn't let me sleep. Like, it'll relax me, but I won't be able to go to sleep. Kind of like if I smoke too much, I then won't be able to go to sleep. But, yeah, that's neither here nor there. But, yeah, I definitely have a lot of fun at Kava Bars. It's definitely a vibe. Um, if you guys have any experiences that you'd like to share at Kava Bars, definitely go ahead and text or leave a voicemail to 561-320-7085. Again, text or leave a voicemail to 561-320-7085. DM first chances with chance on Instagram. Or if you guys are watching the video portion, just comment down below. Bye guys. Love you.